going on guys and welcome back to another video so as majority of people are playing the Avengers beta we have just got a brand new announcement from Rocksteady officially confirming a Suicide Squad game and of course it does showcase Superman in the background which is just absolutely crazy now if you guys are absolutely hyped up for this go ahead and drop a like let's try and hit 1.1 million likes in under 24 hours and are you going to be getting this game let me know in the comments below but let's Let's dive into it. So of course they popped this tweet on Twitter which you probably already saw already but if you didn't all it says is target locked hashtag DC fandom August 22nd so of course that is just two weeks away when we will more than likely be seeing a trailer for this game. What's also interesting is that of course WB Games are yet I guess on the sideline to announce their Batman game and then on top of that we of course still have Spider-Man Miles Morales as well. Now, going on the basis that this all happens this year, that's just going to be absolutely crazy. But to begin with, okay, this is not just a Suicide Squad game, it's a Suicide Squad vs Justice League game, which is just absolutely crazy. Now, this can go one of two ways, alright? The crazy thing uh, could actually result in it being an exclusive to Xbox, which I guess would just break even with the PlayStation exclusives. But second of all, it was confirmed how this game is going to be. Now, this does come from somebody called Nibble on Twitter as well and he stated that of course first of all it's real and so forth but according to rumors this will be a game as a service title with online co-op now the only way to really compare that to is just to the Avengers game that we have as of right now or you can I guess compare it to games like Destiny etc etc so it's gonna be interesting to see how this could actually work but nonetheless it will go head to head in competition with the Avengers game as well whether or not there'll be free roam aspects as well that can really I guess just overtake the Avengers game but a lot of people are taking to this in a in a bad way I guess and a lot of people are saying if it's going to be a games as a service type of game then they won't go ahead and get it what do you guys think on this let me know in the comments below nonetheless though I guess the whole video game scene right now for superhero games is really really hot so let me know your thoughts in the comments below and as always subscribe for more awesome content if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one till then have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day and adios amigos